Now, Kurt Dahl is an entertainment lawyer and a touring rock drummer. He joins us now from Saskatoon in Western Canada for some insights on this case. Kurt, thanks for joining us. Having closely looked at this case and then heard both versions, how serious a copyright infringement do you think this might be? Well, there's definitely a case here. Um, what, what the courts have to prove is that Led Zeppelin had access and that there's also substantial similarity between the two songs. Now, access seems to be proven as they, they tour together. Substantial similarity, it's not quite clear. I mean, I, I go either way on this case. I go back and forth depending on the day. Then, I mean, how likely is it you think we'll see justice served here? Well, you know what, in this case, it really comes down to what is the line to be drawn between inspiration and plagiarism? And, you know, what courts have told us is that line is not very clear and it seems to be a moving target. So I don't know what justice is. I mean, do I hear similarities between the songs? Yes. Is it substantial and to the point of being egregious? I don't know. And I think the jury is going to be confused by what the actual legal standard is. And therefore, my gut opinion is that I don't think that they'll be found guilty. Wow. Okay. But I mean, their claim, especially in the in the realm that he, they say he was hired as a freelance musician to to write these songs, uh, that gives him no case whatsoever. Then, or that's as far as spirit is concerned. Yeah, I believe that suggestion and that claim will be thrown out, because the fact remains, there's he owns. I mean, his estate owns copyright in that song. So whether it's freelance or otherwise, I think he still has a claim to, uh, to the Taurus. Let me ask you then on a more personal note, how it feels as a musician to fight in a case like this, especially if you're on the side where you hear and recognize your original music being used and profited from by someone else? You know, I, I can only imagine what, uh, what the spirit guys are feeling in this. Um, and you're right, I mean, when you write a song, it's like your, your baby, right? And it's walking around out there and then some other band takes a part of it and, and makes a, reportedly $550 million off the song. Um, but again, you know, all art comes from something, right? The, the whole argument that there's not even an original thought out there, right? Every, we're influenced by our, the world around us. So, and if you look at all the, I mean, rock and roll especially, it's all based on the blues. Led Zeppelin, The Stones, Hendrix. I mean, they all borrowed from the blues, and I'm sure Spirit was no different. So I guess it, it's, it's a fine line here. Whatever the, however the jury decides, it's going to have a major effect on uh, these sort of claims going forward. Okay, Kurt Dahl, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for that from uh, Saskatoon, Canada. No problem. Thank you.